Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the AJR CRLUS 1603-2800 KV motors. In this video I'm going to try to help you to decide whether these motors are going to be a good option for your next toothpick or micro long range builds and in order to do that I'm going to assemble a set of these motors on the Recon FPV Recon 4 which was originally shipped with the Recon FPV slash AJRLC 1404 2800 kV motors and perform an endurance test in order to check how long and how far they can get us. On top of that I'm going to bench test both 1603 and 1404 2800 kV motors using my motor's thrust end in order to check how they compare. First of all the weight of the 1603 motor is 9.5 grams so it's 0.6 grams lighter than the 1404 motor. Its actual stator diameter is 15.7 mm and its height is 3.1 mm in comparison to a stator diameter of 14 mm and a height of 4 mm in the 1404 motor. Based on these values we can calculate that the 1603 motor has about 2.5% less volume than the 1404 motor. Just like on the 1404 motor, inside the motor bell of the 1603 motor you can find 12 magnets. And unlike the 1404 motor, which features a 9x9mm motor mounting pattern, the 1603 motor features a 12x12mm motor mounting pattern. As for my conclusions, based on the results of the thrust test and the endurance tests of the Recon FPV Recon 4 using the 1603 motors, I can tell you that the 1603 motors are more efficient than the 1404 motors, which means that using the same setup, they will enable you to achieve longer flight times and cover more distance, but on the other hand, the 1404 motors are more powerful. On both endurance tests of the Recon 4 using the 1603 and 1404 motors, I was using the same battery pack, and when using the 1603 motors, I was able to cover a total distance of 20 kilometers at about 20 minutes, which means that the average speed was around 60 kilometers per hour, and when using the original 1404 motors, I covered a total distance of 17.5 kilometers at about 16.5 minutes, which means that I was flying a little bit faster, but still I think that the results are pretty valid. In addition, as you're about to see in the thrust test, which its results are of course included down below, the 1603 motor is more efficient than the 1404 motor, and I tested it using 4 inch propellers which are going to be probably ideal for a long range build and I tested both motors using different voltage settings so the results will be able to give you a lot of information. Finally, as for noise level, as far as I can tell, just like the 1404 motors, the 1603 motors are pretty quiet. Now I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage and the thrust test results so I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video and as always if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.